Hi! <laughs> Here's some front seating for you. I know that we're all attention span challenge these days, so I'm going to give these to you fast in first grade vernacular. These are all easy, reliable ways you can get through the long obstacles of Spelunky 2 faster, as well as one piece of new tech at the end so you don't enter that lethal panic mode so often in the cosmic ocean. I respect your decision not to anger the shopkeepers, even though it's so easy to steal everything with a single rope. <laughs> but buying things is much safer and family friendly. Keep doing what you're doing, you're doing great, keep it up. Cracking Mole Man's skulls is such a big slowdown though, and here's what you can do. You send him rolling and you toss a bomb after him. The bomb pays for itself anyway, it works every time 9 times out of 10. In Volcana, if you don't get that dry dog but are flush with that Irish green, it's a good choice to spend bombs digging down. It takes about 8, often less if you aim for the powder kegs. You can automate the entire Olmec fight for a much faster and safer kill whenever that shortcut just doesn't cut it. The first phase is faster this way, going in and out of the gap, but your method works well anyway. Keep doing what you're doing, you're doing great, keep it up. The second phase, that's where the new tech comes in. Go like this, and then like this, and then this, and this, until you reach the bottom. The same thing, nothing is random here, it's very easy, do it once and you'll learn it forever. You do need some way to jump high to do this, either a jetpack, spring shoes, or the uppercase D, lowercase M key. Phase 3 is scarier, but if it were easy, everyone will do it. If you make Olmec stomp down on the edge of the tile, one of the aliens will be blocked and you'll only have to worry about the other one. And the alien coming out is so well telegraphed, a dialed pro player like yourself will have no trouble timing a stomp. Just make sure to hold the jump button when you stomp so you jump out of range every time. For the Gamba level, you can toss the dice a lot faster if you whip them like this. Just hold up, throw at the force field, then whip. It works just the same. For the Ankh save without pasta, line up your hand with this bit right here, see? Huh? If you have the glove, line up your hand with this texture. Huh? There you go. Four bombs quick, down the rope, and then up right after the bombs go off. Yeti K freestyle rap is mandatory in all runs. If you skip this, you literally curse Quillin to die to popcorn on the last level, so it simply must be done. Anyone accusing you of horsing here is guilty of libel and slander. Keep doing what you're doing up to the chicken snake egg monster, you're doing great, keep it up. Stumping the heads is actually very safe and reliable though. If you have that pasta, kill the first head the same way. Keep doing what you're doing, you're doing great, keep it up. But if you don't have the pasta though, you can do one stomp at a time, going side to side like this. Wait until the outer head fires, then stomp, then go to the other side. The outer head will block the next fireball, and you repeat this until it dies. Once there's only one head left, simply wait until it fires, then stomp, 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 and it's dead. The stomping stuns it, so it will never fire back while you're stomping. Lastly, here's the new tech for the jellies. They turn super slow. Like the wheel ship in Prometheus, like a raging ball, you are doomed if you run in front of it. A dialed pro player sidesteps instead, whoop, just like this, eat my farts. You can even stand still while it circles, 100% safe. Best of luck for the hardest challenge in all gaming. My money is on the 157 hour mark. Keep doing what you're doing, you're doing great, keep it up.